Virginia Basher volunteers her time to help those living in the 705 encampment. Last Friday, the city of Tacoma began a sweep of the encampment, but Basher says people are already starting to return. A lot has gotten picked up so far. I mean, a lot actually. Um, the very beginning up here was completely cleaned off, but now there's people up there again camping out. Most of them don't have a place to go. They're just going to go find somewhere else to camp out and do the same thing. It's going to be an ongoing thing. Four blocks away. Dean Hall says he's seen this before. An encampment is swept and people make their way around different areas of the city before eventually coming back here. He calls it the Tacoma Shuffle. They shuffle them from the Mission to the Nativity House to St. Joe's or something. So there, there would be literally lines of people, homeless folks, going from place to place, you know, kind of incognito. Now the city says it has offered to provide resources and services to people living here, but we've also heard accounts of people turning that offer down. Why would somebody want to deny the, uh, the help that the city's been giving? The rules, the things they have to deal with inside the, uh, the, the mission, stuff like that. You know, they go in at 6.30 at night, they kicked out at 6.30 in the morning. I'd like to get them in shelters where they're all day long, going to mental health, getting some drug treatment, but they're just thrown back out on the streets until the evening time, and then they got somewhere to sleep, and then it's the same thing every day. Advocates are now calling for more comprehensive services for Tacoma's most vulnerable. Otherwise, many will end up being swept into a vicious cycle that some won't escape. Some die, some die. Some go back to drugs. Some go to their mom's house. Some don't have family. They just start all over again somewhere else. Lionel Donovan, King 5 News.